Hello and welcome to another video of Matoklasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the p-values in a t-test using Microsoft Excel. We can use uh, three different formulas for each type of test. So if you are conducting a t-test which uh, requires t-distribution such as one sample t-test, t-test independent, t-test dependent, you can use these uh, formulas for each test. For this demonstration, I'm using Excel 2016. I haven't tried it yet with other earlier versions like 2013 and 2010. But if you happen to see this formula, you should type it in the cell, then you're going to be fine. And for this test, we're going to need the, the test value or the t-test value and degrees of freedom. Now, to start with the left-tailed test, we just need to type equal sign and then t dot. Uh, actually, you just need to remember t dot because if you will type the t dot in the cell, you can see here the three formulas that I have shown earlier. So here, we need the left tail test. So we're going to use the t dot dist. So selecting this, um, we can now enter the test value. In this case, it's uh, negative 2.23. So negative 2.23, comma, Degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom here is 19, so I can just type 19. And then the true value. Close parenthesis, enter. And we now have the p value for the left tail. And you can now start comparing this p value in the level of significance for you to decide if you're going to reject or will not reject the null hypothesis. For the right tail test, again, equal sign, t dot. And here you can see 2t and rt. And the uh, rt stands for right tail test. So I'm going to select this option. And then you can just select this cell if you like, if you have 1.25 on your cell or any of these cells in the workbook. So comma, the degrees of freedom is 15. I can also just select this cell if you don't want to type 15 and then that's it close parenthesis and we now have the p value for the right tail test which um, contains a test value of 1.25 and for the last one we're going to need equal sign again t dot and this time i'm going to use uh, 2t which stands for the two tailed tests so selecting this will give us 4.25 again for the test value and then comma degrees of freedom is 10 this time close parenthesis and we now have the p value for the test value 4.52 and degrees of freedom 10 and as i mentioned earlier you can now start comparing these p values on your level of significance so for the first p value if your level of significance is 5% or 0.05 this is less than that value so you will not reject the null hyp hypothesis for this one and for the two tailed test we have a p value of uh, less than 0.01 and 0.05 so whichever uh, you will use as a level of significance uh, the decision is not to reject the null hypothesis now, if you want more video discussions regarding data analysis in Microsoft Excel, you can always check my playlist in the description down below. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video.